Okay, take a deep breath. I see the crap now. <laughs> Bulking debacles, newborn nightmares, and I'll call that an excrement emergency. Today, we're back at it, breaking down and reacting to all of the absurd medical scenes and wildly creative injuries from South Park. Let's dive right in. Hey, do you need to get in shape fast? Want to look your best? Tired of the other guys getting all the chicks? Are you tired of being a 90 pound weakling? Yeah, I only weigh 90 pounds. Then bulk up quick with weight gain for the. So, being 90 pounds and you're 10 years old, yes, you probably shouldn't be trying to gain more and get beefed up. Gentleman in the commercial is wearing a weightlifting belt and not even weightlifting. Okay, just something to think about. Just think about it. 4,000 grams of saturated fat per serving. Oh, 4,000 grams of saturated fat. <laughs> no, bad, please no, that's a lot of saturated fat. Right now there is obviously like debates about saturated fats, but 4,000 grams of this is definitely not good for you. That's too much, man. Enter the mouth and go directly to the stomach where it is distributed to the bloodstream. Does the absorption get right down to the bloodstream and there's a little bit more pathways that are going on. may cause irreversible damage to the kidneys and liver. Yes, irreversible damage to your kidneys and liver. So please be aware when they actually say that. You think about dietary saturated fats is not good for you. It could be affecting your kidneys, your liver, your heart, even your blood vessels. Mom, can you get me some weight gain 4,000? Okay, Eric, I'll get you some at the store tomorrow. But mom, I need it for tomorrow. <laughs> but tomorrow <laughs> is grocery day, Eric. This is sweet. Oh. <laughs> Typically, it wouldn't expand that quickly, but yes, it could be quite detrimental to your health, increase the risk of metabolic syndrome, could increase the risk of leading to diabetes. Diabetics. And I'm looking totally whipped. Beefcake. Beefcake. I don't think they're gonna be able to get all of you in frame, Cartman. This is why you can't literally trust everything people are selling. You have to do your own research, see why some ingredients are included and maybe why others are not, and see how it would affect your body in a short term as well as a long term. Well, hello there, little girl. My name is Dr. Hallis. What can I do for you today? So very interesting. You walk into the doctor's office and got the fake skeleton there. Sometimes those are actually good to have in the office to show different anatomical things that might be happening. A random skeleton that looks like it's from Halloween, probably not the best unless this is just an orthopedic surgeon looking at bones. I want to have breast reduction surgery. The individual is looking at breast surgery, so probably not just an orthopedic surgeon, because those are done by plastic surgeons. Well, young lady, I'm afraid that we don't offer breast reduction surgery to girls of your age. Why not? Britney Spears got fake ones when she was a teenager. Why can't I have mine taken off? Because making breasts larger is a beautiful and wonderful thing. Oh my gosh. A lot of procedures require you to be in the United States at least 18 years or older or having parental consent and the parent has to actually be there. I'm afraid I just cannot ethically perform a breast reduction surgery on an eight-year-old girl. Damn it. If, on the other hand, you'd like to make them a little bigger, I think now might be the right time to size up. Totally inappropriate. There's nothing wrong with an individual wanting to augment their body. It is their own body and it's their choice, but it needs to be informed and be of a certain age, especially following the laws in the United States or whatever country that you are in. And that way everything is done appropriately. I need some help over here. Please help. I think he's got third degree burn. They're in an operating room. How did this individual get past everything else and show up? Operating rooms typically are like deep within the core of the hospital or even maybe on another floor above the ground floor. Give the child to me. Oh, geez. Is he going to be all right, doctor? Oh no. Is he going to live? Is somebody having a psychosis? Are they having a nervous breakdown? Are they septic, meaning do they have a bacteria in their bloodstream causing fevers and altered mental status? Or do they have a brain tumor that's pushing on certain parts of the brain causing them to have an altered sense of reality? Ultrasound is very simple, Mr. Marsh. We're going to use harmless waves to look inside your belly. Just gonna put some warm gel on your stomach first. Ooh. <laughs> Unfortunately, in the emergency department, we do not have warm ultrasound gel, so it is cold. We will pre-warn you, and we don't just squirt it on your body. We put it on the probe itself. Okay, take a deep breath. I see the crap now. <laughs> <laughs> poop definitely shows up on images. You can see poop on an ultrasound, but if there is a fart in there, it'll get in the way and make the image distorted and then you can't see it. Can, can I see it? Sure. This is your colon, and here 
is the feces. Actually, when you see the black on the ultrasound machine, that is typically fluid that you're shooting through. And then when it hits like an organ, it actually turns out white and degrade thereafter into a gray scale. Oh my gosh, there's got a big poop baby in there. <laughs> Better images to see poop would probably be an x-ray, maybe an MRI, but CT as well. So typically we see a lot of poop on people's CT scans. We can see how much is filled in your colon and your small intestine. I talked to the FSM and they say Randy has to take the crap in Zurich. I'm sorry, Mr. Marsh. I, I cannot condone you traveling on an airplane in your condition. It is never safe to fly during your third trimester. <laughs> that is awesome. That's awesome. We are talking about first, second, and third trimesters relating to a baby's development within the uterus versus a turd. I've seen people with something called a fecal loma, where it's actually such a large turd that it's actually calcified. Maybe enough cash shot directly into the bloodstream could kill the virus altogether. I have enough cash for all three of us. We should give it a try. What? No, no it's ridiculous. We need FDA approvals, control studies. I'm sorry, but this is impossible. <laughs> you need to go through different experiments, so to speak, and studies and trials. The first one is always safety to make sure it's safe. And then you have to see, does it actually work against what you're actually making it for? Let's hope to Christ this works. Typically, when you have an injection where you're doing intramuscular or subcutaneous underneath the skin, not in the muscle, you don't do large volumes like that because it leaves an unsightly large lump and can be quite painful and can cause uh, potential ischemia. So you don't want to do that. Wait a minute. Oh my gosh, oh, that's what it is. Yes. Yes, take a look. The cash particles have completely replaced all the HIV in Kyle's blood. <laughs> <laughs> you just found the cure for AIDS. Oh, bad. It's interesting that we use the uh, HIV and AIDS interchangeably. HIV is a virus. AIDS is the syndrome that's caused by the virus. They're typically not interchangeable, even though we use them that way. They found the cure for AIDS. So there are really no cures for viruses. There are ways to prevent the virus. There's ways to give us immunity. But even then, when we have the antibodies in our system to those viruses, the virus still comes into our bodies. Hopefully our bodies turn on and we neutralize it. South Park in its crazy ways brings up good topics to talk about controversial topics and I actually enjoy uh, watching this show and seeing all the medical angles that they have. Also, I made fast acting health supplements with you in mind. No matter what the issue, I got you covered. Check out Life Happens. You take them only when you need them. Definitely binge watch this playlist right here. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on and hit that like button for me. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.